Okay, so first I am going to go over um, the different products that I'm going to use. And as you can see, like I've been letting my hair air dry for a little bit. You can see my hair is curly underneath and it tends to be really frizzy as well. And then right around my ears will um, be super frizzy and so definitely need a product for that. I'm super flat on top, so I need a product for that. I need a heat protectant and a moisturizer. So the first thing I'm gonna use is U Oil by Unite. It is my favorite, let me see if I can get it to come in. There we go, U Oil by Unite. It's one of my favorites for heat protectant and moisture. And you're just gonna put that all the, all the way through your mid shaft to ends. And really focusing on your ends really well. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is my moisture product. I'm using, this is an additive product. I'm also using Power Drops by Orbe for um, preserving your color. So I'm gonna put one little vial and I'm gonna have a mixing agent to go with it, which is my Super Shine Moisture Cream by Orbe. And this has a crushed pearl in it, so I use about that much. I'm gonna mix the two together, cocktail them, and then apply mid shaft to ends. Really, again, focusing on those ends and pulling that product all the way through. Okay, so now I have my heat protectant and my moisture. Now I'm gonna use Straight Away by Orbe, and this is gonna really help me with um, the frizz and the curl that I fight. I'm gonna be doing a bouncy blow dry, and or a soft, smooth blow dry with a little bit of bounce. And so it's really important that my hair not have any frizz. And my underneath is like really bad. So I have to really work that product in there. As a bonus, this product is also 450 degrees um, heat protectant. So as soon as that heat hits this product, it seals into that cuticle and keeps my hair straight for days and days. I never have to touch it up. If I have to do any little thing, sometimes I get a little curl right here by my ear when I sleep and I straighten that out. But the underneath, I'll never have to touch it again until I wash my hair. So this straightaway product is, a, it's an incredible product. You don't wanna miss out on this. Um, okay, so then last, I'm gonna use my um, volumizer and I'm using Anti-Gravity by Kevin Murphy. And I'm gonna get a good bit of this. Because I'm not only going to put it at my root, I'm also going to pull it through my ends. My bottle's kind of getting empty. Jeez, okay, there we go. So I've got this much. I'm going to rub it all over my hands and only using my fingertips now. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to add some to my roots, only using the fingertips, massaging it all the way through. Again, I'm going to rub them together so I get more on my fingertips and add a little bit more. And since my extensions are underneath my natural hair, this is all my natural hair on top, you can just go to town with putting it at your root. You don't really need it anywhere else. So now I'm going to take the, take the excess that you can see is still on my hands and I'm going to pull that mid shaft to ends because I want my hair to pick up the round brush and I want it to hold that curl. So by pulling that volumizer all the way through my ends, number one is super lightweight, but number two is going to hold that curl. And again, it's going to last me for a couple days, which is super awesome. So we're about to get started with the blow dry.
Okay, so now that you have your hair about 80% dry, um, now is when you're gonna start your brush work. You can either use a um, flat brush or you can use a round brush. My choice is a round brush because I get a, a lot more lift with it. Um, but I've also set my roots so they're nice and dry and um, this will help keep all this volume that I put in there and um, it activates that product really, really well so that it lifts my roots. Um, so now I'm gonna section my hair so that I can do a round brush. And I like to start with the very bottom of my natural hair um, because that is my biggest problem area. And then just clip the rest of that out of the way. And then I'm gonna bring it in two sections. So you can see it's still frizzy. Um, the product that I put on there, the straightaway, is not going to get straight on its own. It's heat activated. So I've gotta activate that product with the heat against the brush while I'm smoothing and pulling. So you'll see me do this um, once I turn the blow dryer on and I'm gonna just constantly be smoothing that, shaft, that hair shaft. And um, typically what you should do is, um, after you think the hair is dry, go over it two or three more times right here in that mid shaft. Because what that is doing is it's polishing and it's shining your hair. And that's when you see hair that's like super glossy. Um, it's been polished and shined and heat is what does that. So a lot of people think heat is damaging. It is not damaging as long as you use it in the right way. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I was curling the hair after I already had it dry. So once you have that polish and shine put into the hair, you can then start rolling your round brush up. And then I use the fan on the side of my Mika blow dryer to cool it. Now be careful with your own hair dryer because some hair dryers do suck in air through the vent Ours does not, it kind of blows cool air out of it. So it's sucking out the heat and kind of a, um, putting a cool temperature right on the, the brush. And so you're getting a curling motion. And then I'm gonna untwist and let it go. And it stays in that curl pattern. And then I just let it set. Um, it just sets while I move on to the next section. If I have to go back over this section again, it's no big deal. All right, so now I'm moving into the next section, which is still below my ears. Clip this out of the way. Right here, I need two clips. And then again, you're gonna split it down the middle so that you can see what, what hair you're gonna be working with. If you didn't apply um, enough product, now is also a good time to add more product individually to each strand that you're working with. So I'm gonna be working with more anti-gravity because I really, really want it to stay in there for several days. Um, when it's not too hot outside, I can get my hair to last six or seven days from the same blow dry. So it is worth it to take the time to do this at home, even though, yes, it does take more time and a lot of people, that's their excuse is, I just don't have time to do this. Well, I don't either, but guess what? It saves me time the rest of the week so that I don't have to do this every day or every other day. So you're really picking and choosing, you know, 
long term, how much time do you want to save? All right, so I'm adding a little bit more anti-gravity because I really want those curls to stay in there. Okay, so now I'm taking the next section, which is right about temple area. If you need to divide this section in two, you can. And then you're gonna split it. And then I'm gonna add more product. I'm going to break this section up into two. I'm going to work with the back section first.
So now I'm on my last piece and I wanted to talk just for a minute about how important it is that you pull the blow dryer straight up with the, the section on top here. So as you've been seeing, I've been going up like this which is just driving those roots even higher off your scalp to give you that body that you need. Um, and I part my hair down the middle, so I work my way from side to side up to the center, all the time pulling the brush a little bit over direction in the opposite direction of the way I'm gonna wear it. So I'm gonna do this last section so you can see what that's gonna look like. Okay, so I just finished um, what we call here at Salon Adele the signature blowout, where we take our time and really do a lot of curling with the hair. So my hair is normally just stick straight and the ends are straight. And as you can see with this blow dryer, or with this blowout, I got a lot of curl and uh, lift at my root. And both of these will last me for quite a few days. So. Um, just a recap of what I used. I used anti-gravity at my scalp and pulled all the way through my ends for volume. I used Straight Away by Orbe on any frizz or um, problem areas that I have with um, curl. And that is also a heat protectant. And then I did Orbe's color Power drops. Can't get it in focus. Well, you get the idea. These are the power drops. And um, the super shine, and I cocktailed these together. This is gonna protect my color, and this is giving me moisture. And it also has a pearl essence look to it. And then I also use U oil. I just threw it on the floor. So I, I also used U oil, and this is my heat protectant, and it also um, nourishes my hair with lots and lots of vitamins, so it keeps it nice and healthy. Um, it also prolongs my treatments that I get here in the salon. The B3 treatment is one of my favorites. Um, so now that my hair is completely dry and everything has set in, I'm gonna add some super shine super shine. I'm going to add a pearl size and rub that in. And I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that how pearly it is. It is like super shiny. It has crushed pearl in it. And I'm just going to run this all the way through my hair. This gives me such a soft texture, but it also smooths out everything. You can also add more U oil at this time if you wanted to. That also is gonna give a lot more shine. So let me show you what that looks like. This is the U oil. And you just rub that in. And it's, um, it's an oily texture, but it's very, very lightweight. So you can put it on dry hair. I did a full pump. So there you go, that is a signature blowout. I hope you learned something today and if there's anything that I can ever help you with, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching.